a chick was crying and the mother hen asked why was she crying so the chick explained that she was not able to find a mother and she asked are you my mother she says oh poor baby i am not your mother i have kids like these so these are my babies so i cannot be your mother that moment raja came and started by barking as you can see so the mother hen started explaining it to raja to not get the other chick scared of him and to stop barking when the chick went near the cow he asked the cow are you my mother i am not able to find my mother so the cow says my baby looks like this the calf is my baby so i can not be your mother you must not cry but the baby again went to the squirrel as we can see and again asked are you my mother but the squirrel also just denied that she cannot be her mother because her baby looks like that one right so the mother of this chick looks very different so she looks like a bird is what she was told so the chick went to the parrot and asked are you my mother because you look like a bird also so the parrot explains that i am not your mother but you are a baby and you should be sitting in your nest how have you got down from your nest so the chick explains that when the mother had gone to search some food for him he had just fallen down of the nest and he just slipped he was not able to fly because he was just came out and he just hatched out of the egg and so he was crying because he has never seen his mother earlier and he doesn't know how does his mother looks so he asked the parrot why can't you be my mother what is your name even you are a bird only he says that he is a bird but there are different types of birds he is a parrot himself and the chick is not a parrot so he cannot be the mother and in fact he was a male parrot so he said that you can call me uncle and they became friends he decided that the chick can come along with him and he will help the chick out to find his mother right so the chick asked the parrot to look at that nest maybe that nest is of the chick only so they both together went near the nest to check whether the net is of this chick or not so the parrot says this chick is this nest is not your nest because this is a robin's nest this robins have made the nest with the twigs the roots the wool the hairs and the cotton wool right so this nest is a robin's nest this is how the robin which uh, robin which is a bird makes its nest these look very soft and warm so the baby asked can i go there and rest there even the chicks which are over there their mouths are open and maybe they are looking for some food their mother is going to get some food for the chicks so can i also eat that i am also very hungry but the parrot says no you cannot stay there come let us go and find and uh, your mother somewhere else so they both together went to some other place so for that he asked the chick to come along and sit at his back when they were flying they saw a bird sitting but that was a crow's nest where the crow was sitting now the crow builds the nest with all types of things even the wires and even the wood is used by the crow to make its nest that means this was not the chick's nest but they heard some beautiful sound and they noticed it was not the mother of the chick it was a quail that was singing so it sings so beautifully but it does not builds a nest of its own it lays its eggs in the crow's nest and crow is the one which sits on those eggs and hatches the eggs of the quail so how will the crow hatch the nest or hatch the eggs of this quail he will not come to know about the eggs that the eggs are of the other bird he doesn't comes to know right when they went to the other bird that was the pigeon so the chick asked the parrot where is the nest of this pigeon made is it uh, your ma- is it my mother the parrot just refused no pigeons can make nest anywhere even on the top of the tables or the cupboards even on the windows or sometimes behind the mirrors the chick was very sad and again started crying that he was not able to find his own mother 
he saw another bird just hanging and asked are you my mother so the bird refused i am not a female i am a male and i can not be your mother so the chick chick asked are you my father so the bird replied no i cannot be your father even i am weaving my nest over here so the chick asked the parrot who is he now this is a weaving bird now there are so many weaving birds over there as we can see now these are the weaver birds that weave their nest right the male weavers are the birds that are weaving beautiful nest like these and the female weaver birds they wait for the male weavers to build their nest and then they choose out of all the nest which one is the best they go there and lay their eggs in those favorite nests and after that the eggs are hatched so the chick said he is not a weaver bird that means so they decided to go somewhere else to find the mother when they noticed another bird over there is it also weaving the nests no this bird does not weave nest this bird was stitching its nest why so because it was a tailor bird so it uses its sharp beak and it stitches the two leaves together and it lays its egg on the fold of those leaves right so the chick was again very much disappointed that where is my mother is she not looking for me but at that time he noticed some sound that is some tuk 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 sound coming from somewhere they noticed it was coming out from that hole now what was the noise coming out it was the sound that was coming out from the hole of the tree and that was of the barbed bird now the barbed birds are the birds that make its nests inside the hole in a tree and this bird is also known as copper smith's bird because it makes that tuk 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 sound so even that was not the mother for the chick they noticed another nest that was hanging like this on the branch now the chick was little uh, thinking or confused can my mother be here so the parrot was explaining that this nest belongs to a sunbird which makes the nest which hangs from the branch of a small tree like this so let us go closer and see what things are these nests made up of these nests are made up of as we can see here cotton wool the grass the dried leaves pieces of cloth the tiny uh, tiny and thin twigs and even the spider's web so this nest looks very nice to the chick but it can't go in because this nest was not him now it was again getting very much upset that it was still not find not able to find the mother but that very moment they heard some sound that there was a bird that was standing on a window now she was a sparrow so let us go and see if she was the mother of that chick when the parrot and the chick came the mother started speaking that she was very much searching for her baby where was he gone so he explains that it was the parrot uncle that he he was just fallen from the nest and it was the parrot uncle who helped him out to find the mother so they all together thanked the parrot for all the help for being so kind with the bird the parrot was welcoming mrs sparrow and he says it is very difficult to lay eggs and take care of the babies these days right so because we have the wicked rats the snakes the cats right even the big birds that sometimes come and just take away their eggs and eat them that is very scary so the chick said that he is going to be a very good boy this time and he will stay in the nest carefully till the time he learns how to fly so he asked the parrot will he come to meet him soon he says that he really likes the chick and he will definitely come daily to meet the chick the chick was very thankful to the parrot for taking care of him so much but he is so much different from his mother so the parrot explains that i have this red thing this this is not a nose but this is a beak they use this beak for different purposes so different birds have different beaks like sparrows have the beaks which makes it easy for them to pick up the grains that they eat but the parrots have to eat the fruits and bake the nuts so for breaking nuts and eating fruits they have to have different kind of beaks right so that is why the sparrows and the sp uh, sparrows they have the different kinds of beaks you can see here another bird which is trying to make some hole 
its beak is so different why is it different because it is so thin and long and it is not fighting with this bark of a tree it is making holes in the trunk of the tree its beak helps it to make the holes in the wood right so we can see that different birds have different type of beaks to help them to eat the different types of food right so you can see there is another bird which is trying to suck nectar from a flower so this bird has a special kind of beak that helps it to suck the nectar from the flower so we can see different birds have different types of foods so that is why they have different types of beaks right you can see that these large birds they have the beaks that help them to tear the meat and eat right even these birds they have different beaks these have different beaks because it helps them to cut and eat the different types of foods right now the little bird that they had seen when they were trying to search their mother they were having long beaks as we can see these long beaks help them to find the insects and in the, even in the shallow water and even in the mud right so the chick says he hadn't noticed the long beaks of those birds but he noticed the long legs of the birds but they had the funny feet like this so the parrot explains these are not funny but these ducks have the webbed feet that means their feet are joined because of which they are able to swim in water right so now the chick asked its mother how will i sit on the trees will i not fall so the sparrow mother explains that when you will grow up you will have your feet like such that you will be able to hold on to the trees so different birds have different type of feet also depending on their different uses right so the nature has given them right kind of beak and right kind of feet to help them whatever they want to do just like we can see this bird was trying to climb up on this tree and because of the feet the special kind of feet that it has it is able to climb the trees now these there are the big birds like this which have different kinds of feet to be able to carry their food like this right so we can see that these birds have special kinds of feet which help them to carry their food along with them right so that means we have learned about different birds and they have different type of feet now you can notice that some birds walk a lot on the ground haven't you noticed so that is because they have special kinds of feet that help them walk also right there are some birds that start flying and there are some birds that most of them prefer walking on the ground now the sparrow mother asked offered the parrot to have something but the parrot refused the parrot just refused to say that he even his uh, kids must be waiting in the nest so he even they must be little hungry like the sparrow's chick so he said that he will go back to his nest and give take some food along to feed his babies right so we have learnt about birds birds have different kinds of feet and birds have different kinds of beaks depending on what use they have